for me, it's not, I started modeling when I was 18. I was not super young, yeah. Yeah, but still young, you know. Mm -hmm. I did not speak any English. And then all of a sudden, I remember one photographer in Montreal, she gave me like a little tap on my ass, and she was like, hmm, you gotta lose some weight. And that's what she said to me. And that's kind of what trigger, triggered it. What were you, did you, were you anorexic for a while, or? Um, sorry, it's, that's it's really so, boring no, question. It's <laughs> Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's different kinds. You know, for me, I was sport crazy. Like, yeah. I could go run at 3 in the morning if I... Because I felt so guilty of having uh, the croissant. It's so unhealthy. I was like, no, really like gray, and I always had the um, lips problem. I mean, my immune system was just so, so low. If you constantly see thin white girls coming down the runway, looking beautiful, then that's going to be your perspective of who you are if that's a good thing. So if you happen to be a thin white girl, you think you don't have to be anything else but a thin white girl. If you happen to be a chubby black girl, then all you want to be is a thin white girl. You know, so if, you know, if you're a guy, you, all you want are thin white girls. You know, so it's like, so people don't realize how like these visual things edge you out the blender. So yeah, I started working when I was 13 and then I, I was on the cover of Italian Vogue at like 14. Like I just got my braces off. I was like eighth grade. Yeah. They told me that I should have. I only need, I needed to eat one rice cake a day, and if that didn't work, only eat half of our rice cake. Well, this is your agent. My agent told me that. And this is when you were shooting like Harper's. Bazaar. I was se seventeen. I was like, uh, they're telling me to be anorexic, like flat out. The shows like there were girls eating cotton balls. Like these young girls were like sixteen. They were like dip it in juice and eat it, and it was you wouldn't eat for like five days for it. And do you think that the girls know that they have a problem? These girls who are doing yes. that, are they aware that they, they're not healthy? Yeah. I think so, but they don't want either. Don't want to admit the it. The level of or... money that you're making, it's like you can't say no. It's like, well, maybe I might get really sick for a little bit from the cotton ball or whatever, but like, I'm gonna have like be able to pay for my family and feed some of these girls. It's like do or die. I think it, it's a tough call because I think you know everyone always wants more diversity but you know I don't know I I'm not sure this is what you want to hear or if it even makes sense if I was casting a show I wouldn't be concerned about making a statement about diversity okay. I would want a bunch of girls that fulfill a vision and wear the clothes how I want them to be seen yeah I got told to have lip suction by who should I say it <laughs> I mean you don't have to, or a designer you don't have to say the name owner of an agency some girls, the, the parents stop, the, the, their teeth are falling, I mean, uh, it's crazy. And there's no rules or regulations for these girls, it's like it's still the one like wild west, like most people have like, a, a union to like take care of some of these girls, and I just think it's like absurd that these girls are going through all this stuff and no one cares. You know, when you think of unions, you think of like coal miners, you know? Yeah. But the thing is that you're dealing with They're really young, vulnerable kids and when you're talking about like your 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 body is the is the product. When you're in it, you can't really say anything. It's like looking back, you have to yep. think like, hey, there should have been rules, there should have been regulations right. like you know, it's that's why I feel a certain duty to like this has been my life and like I have still a certain duty to like talk about it. No, I think the CFJ needs to do a lot more than what they're doing right now. And you know, practice what they preach and show the, the variety of like health and body that they're they're saying and the shows as well. Yeah, I agree, absolutely. Yeah.